<laughs> I like that shit. Hey, I like the way you moved out there. You were trained very well. Check that out. It's a shitty dime. See the small hands, undeveloped seeds. All the stems in it, you see how immature it is? That's a classic brick pack Mexican. That's garbage. It's old too. Shit's probably from last year. To be truly effective, a good narcotics agent must know and love narcotics. In fact, a good narcotics agent should have narcotics in his blood. <laughs> what are you gonna smoke that? Nope, you are. If I was a dealer, you'd be dead by now, motherfucker. You turn shit down on the street. She brings your wife a crisply folded flag. The fuck is wrong with you? But you know what? I don't want you in my union. I don't want you in my division. Get the fuck out of my car. Go back to the valley. Rookie. Cool, buddy. Give me that thing. I'll smoke it, man. Give it to me. You want me to smoke it? I'll smoke it. <laughs> Virgin love. Man up now, man up, nigga, man up. Go ahead, dog. Get it, get it, get it good. Yo, shut the fuck up and just wait. Man the fuck up. Finish that shit. Let's go, nigga. Let's go. You okay? Size hit you took, dog. When's the last time you smoked weed? Uh, the last, like, um, 12th grade. We were. Well, we were, um. Smoking weed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Left that out of your service jacket, didn't you? Yeah, I knew you got secrets. Everybody got secrets. Didn't you know you like to get wet, though. What's wet? What naked? Hill, Charm, Dust, PCP, Primo, e dog That's what you had. That's what you were smoking. You didn't taste it. No, I never done it. You have now. I haven't, but you have. Oh shit. Oh, shit. The following program is intended for mature audiences. Oh! Why did you do this to me? Ah, uh, you're an adult, man. Nobody <laughs> told you to smoke that. Made a decision, live with your decision. Mm. And like I put a gun in your head. <laughs> man. Welcome. Sherm sticks, oh my god, bro. It's Angel does, homies. <laughs> Said so that's old school shit. Dude, they they tricked me because they would light up, they had the regular bowl. They were passing it around to everybody. Yo, yo, let me hit that. Everything was good, everything was fine. And in this slick son of a bitch that she is, she goes. Oh no, my screen broke. Oh, wicked! You're wicked! You're wicked, eh? Nudge, nudge! Are you not as good as a wink to a blind bat? Not really. She lied. I'm an idiot. I don't know any better. I actually believe her. But it turns out that she's just making up a story so she can switch her bowl around. So it goes from a regular bowl and it goes into a white elephant. No shit, I remember it clear as day, dude. This is what it was, a white elephant, bro. She stuffs it in there, and everybody starts laughing right then and there. I should have known what was up. Something was not right. Something bad was about to happen to me. Like, dude, why is everybody laughing? Everybody's just really fucking stoned right now, dude. Nothing, Nothing's wrong. Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Here, why don't you just go ahead and hit this, bro? Okay, I'll hit it, because I'm a dumbass. So, you know, they pass it to me. I light it. 
sitting there for a second. Whenever somebody asks you how you feel after you smoke some shit, bro, it's never good. I light this shit up, bro, and I'm sitting there. They ask me how I'm doing. That that should have been another red flag. I'm like, wait, dude, like, I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on a brick wall. I'm kind of leaning up against it a little bit. So I'm kind of sitting back like this, you know, except because I'm not a magician. I can't, I could have just went like this, but I'm a fucking, I'm a jerk off, right? Just, you know. I mean, I'm sitting there like this, dude, and then all of a sudden I just, was, I'm not doing it, but I feel myself going forward, and I don't know why. It felt like somebody just dumped a whole gallon of water all over my clothes, and I'm soaking wet. Like, I can literally feel, it feels like somebody is grabbing and pulling me downwards. And they're like, oh, man. That means, congratulations, you just got wet, bro. I'm like, oh, well, this is not good. I'm freaking out immediately, losing my fucking shit, dude. Think something bad's gonna happen. Everybody leaves me alone, and they all go and pass out someplace because they're all high as shit, and I guess they're used to just being in a constant state of oblivion all of the time. Doesn't really matter much to them. So I'm sitting there, dude, and I don't know what this says about me. Maybe I got something wrong with me. Let me understand this, because I don't you know. Maybe it's me. I'm a little fucked up, maybe. So, you know, I'm sitting there by myself, one pillow, all day, every day. Kevin Hart shit, completely fucked up the bit. Go me. Uh, but there's a little girl, dude, that appears on the other side of the highway. For no reason, I don't know what this says about me as a person. Maybe I'm mentally broken or whatever. But she's trying to wave me over, dude. Tell me, come on. And when cars are flying past me on the highway, dude, there are no cars. There's just headlights. There's headlights. The body of the car is invisible. It doesn't exist. So when cars are flying by, you're just seeing a set of headlights go whizzing past. And I can feel the air from the cars because they're going by at like 60 miles an hour, but I can't see them. So I tell her, fuck you, dude. You come over here. You come over here and you come and talk to me if you want to talk to me. So she decides that she's going to do it. And she goes to cross the street, bro. I am not making this up on everything I love in this world. Hell yeah, it is. Bro, she steps out into the street, dude. Everything goes completely quiet. There's not a sound happening anywhere. She walks over into the middle of the street. And like a goddamn movie, a pair of headlights just come out of nowhere in three seconds bam crash right into her bro hit her right here in the midsection right above where your hip bone connects in your body and underneath your rib cage crack her right there dude cracked her right there her body split into half like a fucking uh Oh, fuck. Like a Johnny Cage fatality in Mortal Kombat, dude, when he rips you in half and throws your other half of the torso on the other side of the screen. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. That's what the car did to this motherfucker. Ripped her clean in half, bro. The top of her body goes bouncing off the hood of the car that doesn't exist. The bottom end of her gets run over into bits and then if you thought it was over that's not the end of the story then all of a sudden a fucking light comes in the sky dude a orange light just comes out of nowhere looks like this scene in terminator bro when the lady falls asleep and she's dreaming that everybody gets evaporated by a nuclear bomb or whatever the hell it was and it comes down bro and a fucking meteor just 
face plants into this little girl's body, dude, and everything just fucking explodes. And I'm standing there like, what the fuck is happening right now? I go to run back and grab anybody that I can for them to come and look at this and see what I'm seeing. And nobody is waking up. They're all doped out, dude. It's over. You would think that they all did heroin or something. Like, I guess that's what the PCP does to you after you smoke it. Normal people are supposed to pass out, but I'm not normal, so that didn't happen to me. I would assume. But after trying to go wake everybody up and nobody wakes up, I turn back around and look, and nothing was there. Yup. On, dude. On everything I love in this world, bro. If you like this, check out Laughing at Birds podcast, which comes out every Saturday. Spotify, Anchor.fm, iTunes, CastBox, Stitcher. Check your local podcast listings. (laughs) Thank you.